Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Western Association for College Admission Counseling Virtual College Fair. I'd like to thank you for joining us today. Just a few housekeeping items before we do get started. There is a Q&A feature on your screen, so if you do have questions for our presenters at any time during the session, please feel free to use that. And if you do have questions for a specific college, be sure to mention the college within your question as well. Your camera and microphone are turned off so the panelists cannot see or hear you. And this is also just one of many sessions happening this evening, so be sure to sign up for additional ones as well. This presentation is also being recorded and will be available within about a week at the same website where you registered. Now I'll turn it over to our first college for this session, which is Full Sail. And of course I'm muted. Hello everyone, my name is Daniel. I'm part of the outreach team at Full Sail University. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. I have a little presentation for you guys, so let's do it. And I'm sorry, could anyone post in the chat if you guys can hear the video? I do not hear the video, Daniel. Oh, okay. Then that's a um, problem. Let me go ahead and stop sharing real quick and go ahead and reshare the screen for some reason. All right, share sound. That looks about right. I'm gonna go ahead and share my entire desktop just in case. Okay, so my video audio is not working, um, but what you guys are seeing in this video is a first look at Full Sail University. We're a school of entertainment, media, arts, and technology located in Winter Park, Florida. Uh, I'll talk a little bit more about Winter Park, but what I want, really want you get to get guys to get out of this video is uh, how we do things. Uh, we do things very differently at Full Sail University. We're an accelerated, hands-on, and project-based university, which means that you're not going to just find yourself sitting in a classroom, taking notes, taking tests or quizzes, or writing essays. Of course, you have your general education courses, and those inevitably have that format. But as you go deeper into your degree program, you will be um, more with a hands-on approach. All right, so we have over 110 different recording studios, art labs, technology labs, film sets, everything you saw in the video is Full Sail University. What you can see in this screen right here is our iconic Full Sail archway. And behind that you have Full Sail Live, which is one of our four different live venues. This is where our show production students uh, work on all types of different projects. One of them being WWE NXT, which we actually film on campus. All right, now. We're located in Winter Park, Florida. It's a suburb in Orlando. So about 30 minutes away from Disney World, about 30 minutes away from Universal Studios, four hour drive to Miami, which is perfect for long weekends and about an hour drive to the beach, which is my favorite, favorite part. Now we offer eight areas of study. You can see them right here. Music and recording, games, art and design, film and television, technology, media communications, business and sports. Uh, one thing I want to tell you guys right off the bat is that we're not a performing arts school, so we're not going to teach you how to sing, how to dance, how to act. If you already know how to do these things, that's great, but it's not what we teach. We teach you how to make these things. Now, we've had every uh, single year for about the past 20 years, grads who've been credited in the Oscars, the Grammys, and the Video Game Awards. We had 57 full sale grads on, on Grammy-nominated projects. Oh, I apologize. Yep, stop calling. Um, uh, 57 grads on the Grammys this year. We had 148 full sale grads on the Oscars last year and 271 full sale grads on the Video Game Awards, which happened, which took place last December. Uh, we do have on campus and online degrees. We do have associates, bachelor's, and master's degrees. So, whatever your need is, um, you can definitely find something for you at Full Sail University. Cool thing about our programs is that we have what we call Project Launchbox. So Project Launchbox would be uh, included in the tuition, and it's basically your technology package that includes a personal computer along with all the software and all the uh, hardware that is industry standard in the program of your choosing. The one I'm showing you right now is for our uh, music production online degree. So you can see, for those of you who are familiar with music creation, it includes Logic Pro, it includes Pro Tools, it includes a microphone, keyboard, an interface, everything you're gonna need. 
And to finish off, I have a short video. Um, so I don't want to run over. So I'm just going to show you a part of the video. This is our graduate showcase, just highlighting some of the most important projects that our grads have been a part of in the last couple of years. One more. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not a word. That was So I am going to stop right here because I believe that's about all the time that we have. I want to thank you guys for being here today. If you have any questions about Full Sail University, please feel free to reach out. My contact information is on my background. Thank you very much for your time. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for your presentation. Up next, we have Lynn University. All right, so that's me. So my name is Ryan. I am our admission counselor I am here on campus at Lynn University. Um, so we are just south of Full Sail. We are about two and a half hours south in Boca Raton on the East Coast. So if you have friends at Full Sail or any of our other Florida universities you're gonna hear from, um, we're all fairly close to each other and we look forward to seeing you in Florida soon. Um, so I work with all of our students from um, the West Coast, even though I'm based on our campus in South Florida. So hopefully once things get better, you'll see me in your area. Um, if not, we hope to see you on our campus. A little bit about us. We are, again, in Boca Raton, Florida. So we are about 30 minutes north of Fort Lauderdale, about an hour north of the city of Miami, um, right along the coast. We are three miles from our nearest beach. Um, and South Florida and Florida in general is really a melting pot of cultures. And you're going to see that a lot on our campus. Um, you see, we were um, ranked one of the, the most diverse um, international universities in the Southeast region. and Part of that really makes for that globalized experience and globalized education that you're going to have when you're you're on our campus. A little bit about our class. So our incoming class last year, um, we had about 20% of our students that were international. About 70% of our students are from outside of our local tri-county area. So very residential campus, always people on campus for you to see, interact with, things to do on the weekends. Um, and you see a little bit about where our students are made up there. Um, we're like one of the many schools, we try to keep our class sizes small so we can be more individualized and focused there. Um, and some of the class offerings really allow us to dig deeper into some of the discussions um, that we want you to be engaged with. So you don't feel like you're in a, a large lecture at all at any time. When it comes to just technology innovation, um, we've been an Apple designated school for the last five years. Um, we use the iPad Pros, so each incoming student, regardless of your major, will receive a brand new iPad Pro, the iPencil and the keyboard. Um, it's built into our tuition, so you take it with you when you graduate. It's your iPad, um, but along the way, most of your textbooks will be able to download straight from the library, and any of those textbooks are completely free. They're designed by our professors to be more engaging, so you will very often see video clips and links embedded into the text. So we're not asking you to read 10 chapters and then take an exam. It's Let's go over this topic, what's a current event that's happened, um, let's discuss it and, and give you more of a visual aid to help with what you're learning in our classroom. Um, so again, a nice piece. Um, if you have your own laptop, your own iPad, um, you still get this. So, so no need to get a new one or, or any of that, but we have a lot of students that will keep their laptop um, and use it for, again, some of the different programs that we have. On the right side, um, you'll see all of our listed programs. We have six main colleges that host or house all of our programs. We have our own College of Aeronautics for any of our aviation students. You can do anything from professional pilot to aviation management, air traffic control, uh, aviation security. We have um, our College of Art and Sciences for our biology students, our psychology, criminal justice, forensic investigations, 
Um, and then we do have fine art degrees for drama and musical theater or musical theater and acting under drama. Our College of Business, very big, um, one of our largest. So we have pretty much any program you can think of from entrepreneurship to hospitality management, fashion and retail. Um, so we want you to, again, dig into some of these topics because um, you may be the next entrepreneur and create the next company that doesn't exist yet. College Art and Design is where we have our graphic art and design, game design, animation, film and production, uh, multimedia journalism. So for any of those, the fine art degrees, again, you see will be marked either with a, um, a BFA along there. We have our College of Education, and then we have our Classic Music Conservatory for anybody who's interested in performing professionally with a classical instrument. We have a lot of three-year programs, so basically anything that's not a bachelor's of fine art can be done in three years with us, which saves you money in your senior year, gives you a head start maybe into your graduate program, um, and overall just really makes for a better value for what you may be looking for. You can finish earlier, save money, get ahead, start a business, go into medical school, go into a, a master's program, um, and, and do that all within four years, finishing two degrees versus just the one. So nice benefits there. We have probably about 30% of our students that utilize that program. So not any harder than what you would usually do and, and gives you, a, again, an advantage against some of maybe your competitors and your friends. Being from a small school doesn't mean that you are limited at all. Um, as you saw with, with Full Sail, um, you know, we're, we're not the largest schools in the country, but we definitely have access to um, a lot of the same large opportunities. And you can be a big fish in a small pond at a smaller school like us. Um, and we want you to take advantage of that. We want to have you take advantage of the opportunities that we see here. So many of these opportunities um, are places that we have current alumni. Um, for our West Coast students, if you are a Warriors fan, um, we have um, the vice president for, uh, what is it? The vice president for strategic partnerships for the Warriors is a Lynn alum, did sports management with us, moved back out to the West Coast. Um, so these are people that we bring into the classrooms, um, whether it's in person or virtually, to just kind of talk to you about your pathway, looking at different options, exploring different routes, um, and talking your way through some of your career paths. There's different ways to get to what your goal is. And we just want to, again, make sure that you're a forward thinker and be able to navigate through that. And then almost done with my slides. So as far as um, campus, so we're Division II Athletic University. Um, so very big in soccer, baseball, so uh, softball, uh, men's and women's across basketball. Um, our football team is undefeated because we don't have one. So if you're looking at football, definitely still come to us. Um, but a lot of opportunities for you there. These are our application dates. So if you are a junior, you can apply starting August 1st. After that, you'll see March. And we are a test optional university. That's all that I have. This is my contact information. Um, we're open. So hopefully we see you on campus soon. And I'm going to pass it on to our neighbors um, north of us. Thank you so much for your presentation. As a reminder to our participants, if you do have questions for any of the colleges that you're seeing today, definitely feel free to put those into the Q&A. Up next, we have University of Florida. Hi, my name is Pete Lent from the University of Florida. I am the West Coast Regional Admissions Officer. So I am based in Colorado and I spend a lot of time in California. So I have Colorado, California, New Mexico, Arizona, Hawaii, and Las Vegas. So if you're my territory, I can't wait to see you sometime. So the University of Florida is a fairly large campus. We have about 55,000 uh, graduate students, about 35,000 undergraduate students. We are in Gainesville, Florida. Is it, uh, Lynn just said we're the northern state. So if you could look at the map, the blue star, that's where Gainesville is. Gainesville is about two hours from Lando, about an hour and a half from Jacksonville. There's a little tiny regional airport in Gainesville. And you can take the bus that goes all over Gainesville and you ride for free with your student ID out to the airport. So it's real easy to get back and forth. It's only about 15 minutes. It is north rural Florida. So they're like big oaks with lots of Spanish moss, rivers, streams type things that you can flow. There's just really cool things to do in Gainesville. UF at a glance. Okay, right now we are ranked number six as best public university in the nation. We're really proud of that. We're trying to get the top five. And we're not just in our laurels trying to do this. We're actively trying to break into the top five. One of the ways we're doing that is with artificial intelligence. 
So AI at the University of Florida, our computer we just turned on is the Hypergator One, and we it is now the best as far as the fastest and the most complex AI computer of any college or university in North America. So we're very proud of that. We also would like anybody who studies, no matter what you're studying at the University of Florida, I want you to dabble in AI and become proficient so you can have that opportunity. We have a 97% retention rate. That means 97% of the freshmen that start with us come back. They like life as a gator. We have over 120 undergraduate majors and over 300 total majors on campus. We have five grad schools. We have a school of pharmacy, a veterinarian school, law school, medical school, and dental school. That's why we have so many graduate students on campus. We did a lot with research. Over $933 million came in and out last year with research. We have a little bit of history with research and developing products. There's something out there that you may think and you may have heard it came from the University of Florida. Yeah, Gatorade. And that was developed back in 1965. So that it did come from us. There's over a thousand clubs and activities. So we want you involved. We want you doing things besides just sitting in the classroom, join a Quidditch club, or maybe you're into cricket or scuba diving. We Greek life, so sororities and fraternities on campus, and they have houses. So you're welcome to participate in those. It's not overwhelming. If you don't want to go Greek, only about 24% of our students do go Greek. So the while with 35,000 undergrads, 24%, there's a lot of Greek life, but there's also a lot of people that are involved in Greek life. And then ROTC, we have all four branches of ROTC, which is a great way to pay for college. So if you're thinking about that, talk to your recruiter, the one that specializes in college. These are just some pictures from around campus. We want to show you a little bit about what life would be like on the East Coast. So the hammocks, those are really popular. I think you'll find those on all Florida campuses of hammocks everywhere you go. And it used to be really popular. The kids would hang one, then they'd climb in that one and hang the next one. That's that first picture. This is an aerial view. So if you haven't been able to be, go to visit Florida the before, Florida is flat. Florida is very flat. You can see from this photo just how flat it is. And you see our stadium is right there in the middle. That is the swamp. And it's super fun, super easy to get there from uh, all the different residence halls. on campus. just walk right on over. And on game day, you and 90,000 of your closest friends can be in there cheering on the Gators. And also on off game days, if you'd like to run or work out, you can get in there and run the stairs. So it's a great way to just get some exercise in. Scooters. So I mentioned buses. Buses are a great way to get all over Gainesville. That runs. There's a mall, movie theaters, shopping, there's Trader Joe's, there's the um, airport. All that is on the bus route. But scooters. A lot of students will ride these little scooters. So it's straight out of something from Europe. Bikes, longboards, walking. Those are also ways to get around campus. The one in the center, these are some of the traditions. On game day, the students will be there in line while the football players walk in. So we do have a football team. So unlike Lynn, ours is not undefeated, but we usually do pretty good. <laughs> That's great that theirs is undefeated. Um, and then the picture on the far right, this is just a sunset, a really nice picture of campus. That's the Carillon Tower, and these are the bells. And while most of the time you see Carillons throughout different colleges, universities, um, different metropolitan areas, they can play Bach, they play Mozart, beautiful tunes. But our music majors will also go in there and start playing. So you may hear John Mayer. I've heard ACDC come out of the Bach East Tower. So it's really fun, really cool to have all different music come out. This is another aerial shot of campus so you can get an idea. It is compact, it's like a giant rectangle. You can walk from one end to the other in about 20, 30 minutes. So it's all right there, it's not spread out very well. So it's not really hard to get around. These are more pictures of Florida. So we have springs, great ways to cool off. The bat houses in the second, as far as man-made bat houses, this is the largest colony of bats in the world. More pictures of springs. There's Payne's Prairie, which is a state park, which is a great place to go and chill. There's Lake Wahlberg, which we also own. And with your student ID, there's paddle boards, kayaks, canoes, there's a rock climbing wall, really fun things to do there. And then the one on the right, this one's called Devil's Den. And this is a great place that students go, maybe to get a dive certification, that, like they do checkout dives there. It's just a sickle. The University of Florida, our applications are due by November 1st. This is not early admission. This is not rolling admissions. This is our due date. So get those things in. They will open up at the end of August. We do coalition and common application. Then you're gonna start getting other emails and you will see things that are due that way. And these are the middle 50% of test scores and GPA off to the University of Florida. And just a little bit more information. And I can contact me. This is our page. There is a QR code in the upper left. You're welcome to take a shot of that and that will take you to register and get on our mailing list. So thanks for joining us tonight and we're heading on down to another part of Florida. 
you so much for your presentation. Up next, we have Eckerd College. Hi, everyone. My name is uh, Jacob Brown. I'm the Director of Admission at Eckerd. Hang on one second. Let me go ahead and share my screen. Um, <laughs> where was I? There we go. So Eckerd College, yes, is uh, south of Gainesville. We're located in the city of St. Petersburg um, in the Tampa Bay metropolitan region. You would fly into Tampa International Airport. We're about 20 to 25 minutes away from the airport and there's a lot of direct flights from the major airports, San Diego, LAX, SFO, all in California. A lot of our students come from outside of the state of Florida. So in fact, about 80% come from outside of Florida. So you see a geographic representation right here. Um, one of the really interesting statistics I find is that um, on average, our students are traveling a thousand miles from home to come to Eckerd College. Typically, um, students will travel um, on average about 200 to 250 miles to their college, but Eckerd students travel four to five times that distance commitment. We have about 47 different states represented in our student body and about 41 other countries. Eckerd is also one of the first colleges that developed a 414 academic program. And our academic program of 414 really relates to the number of classes that you'll take in a given academic year. Students will take four courses in the fall, four courses in the spring, um, and then a short term. And I'm not even sharing my screen. Oh my gosh, I'm going crazy. Um, and then the short term um, uh, in January, for sophomore, junior, senior year. In their first year, they do autumn term. So their short term is in the beginning in August. And that's what we call autumn term. Now it's August in Florida, certainly doesn't feel like autumn, but this is where you will get um, some class experience. You'll take your first academic course for three whole weeks with the same 20 or 22 students. Um, you will also have some co-curricular experiences so that you become familiar and comfortable on our campus and in St. Petersburg. This is three weeks for you, just first year students before our upper class students arrive. Um, and so lots of colleges do an orientation two or three days. I think Eckerd's the only one in the country that does a three whole week orientation program. As I mentioned, you will be taking courses during um, that autumn term. And so these are some of the courses that we offer. They're not major specific. Um, they look at a particular question or issue from um, a perspective. And so we ask students to really explore an area that just sounds interesting to them. Everyone technically comes in undecided. Part of the autumn term experience is also being in a class, like I said, with the same 20 or so students, as well as the faculty member who serves as your faculty mentor. So every student has a faculty mentor. Um, that mentor really guides you, not just through autumn term, not just through the three weeks, um, at the beginning of your academic career, but through your first year to help you in uh, deciding what to major in, to help you decide what types of study abroad experiences um, and how you want the next few years to go at Eckerd. Once you declare your discipline, you will have a faculty member within that field of study. So that faculty member will work with you um, on research projects. We'll talk to you about outcomes. We'll connect you with other alumni. Um, the mentoring is one of the most important aspects Experience. And I should mention, Eckerd is only an undergraduate institution. We don't have um, graduate students. So you have direct access to faculty members. You're not sort of um, fighting with graduate students for their attention. These are our areas of study. We've got 42 different majors and programs. Some of our most popular majors, certainly marine science is our flagship program. One of our newest majors is now becoming one of our most popular, that's animal studies. Also environmental studies, international relations and global affairs, psychology kind of round out the top five. Additionally, we do a lot of study abroad experiences. And so as I mentioned, as part of that 414 academic calendar, um, we have a winter term where students will spend three weeks studying one course in January. You could study the course on campus, but you could also explore 
um, a, an area off campus taking an Eckerd course with Eckerd students and an Eckerd faculty member in one of 25 or so different destinations abroad. So we're number two in the nation among undergraduate baccalaureate institutions for the number of students who participate in short-term study abroad. We also have more traditional semester-long um, experiences through agencies and our own London Study Center. In addition to the academic program, we're a residential college. So about 1900 undergraduate students, 90% of our students live on campus and live on campus typically all four years. It's a 188 acre campus. And part of um, our campus is we have our own beach. We're about 10 minutes away from St. Pete Beach, which was just named by TripAdvisor, the best beach in the United States. Um, I think the fifth best beach in the world. Um, but if you don't wanna go 10 minutes away, we have a uh, beach right on campus and you may see a dog as well. Eckerd is the pet friendliest campus in the United States. In addition to the beach and other areas of campus, we also have one of the most comprehensive waterfront um, programs on campus. And so it's recreational. You see these guys getting ready to take out a kayak. It's also academic where we have research vessels that will launch right from our campus. It's also service oriented where we have our own XR, Ecker College Search and Rescue, where our students are trained to respond to about 600 distress calls um, that happen on the water in an average year. These are our application requirements. So common application or our own. Early action deadline is November 15th. We waive the application fee um, if it's submitted by December 1st. And yes, we are test optional. Um, if you're a junior out there, if you're a sophomore, I'm hoping that we will continue our test optional admission policy beyond 2022. Um, additionally, as sort of I wrap up, we are one of the 40 colleges listed in the book, Colleges That Change Lives. So if you haven't heard of this book, maybe talk to your college counselor. You can also learn more at ctcl.org. Um, and really, I think this is a, a great guide to help you find a school that may be a really good fit for you. This is my contact information as well. So I'm the California rep. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Thanks so much. Sorry about the screen share at the beginning, but thanks for joining. Thank you so much for that presentation. As a reminder to our participants, if you do have questions, definitely feel free to put those into the chat. And if you do have questions for a specific college, be sure to mention the college within your question as well. And I'm at Q&A, sorry, not chat. Up next, we have Florida Southern. All right, so that's me. Hi, everyone. My name is Shannon Barnes, and I am one of the admissions counselors at Florida Southern. Um, contrary to name, we are actually closer to Eckerd than Lynn, so we are right in the middle of the state of Florida in a town called Lakeland, which is about halfway between Orlando and Tampa. So it's about an hour into both of those big cities, and then Lakeland itself is about 100 to 110,000 people, so it's a good balance. We are a relatively small school. Um, Florida Southern runs about 3,000 total students. Of those, about 500 are in graduate programs, so it is a primarily undergraduate institution. Um, and one of our big claims to fame is that we are a huge collection of Frank Lloyd Wright architecture, so it's a really cool campus to explore. Um, if you are interested in studying business, nursing, education, those are some of our big claims to fame, marine biology, um, anything in the life sciences, but we cover a lot of ground outside of those as well. So Florida Southern sees over 70 different academic programs across things like pre-medicine and marine biology, but also gets into things like religion and uh, musical theater. So depending on what you're interested in, come talk to me and I'll help you figure out something that's going to suit your needs. We also have a couple of accelerated options if you are thinking about going for a master's in education or an, or an MBA, or if you're thinking about going to medical school, we've got accelerated options that will help you get there as you're kind of figuring out your path through Florida Southern and beyond. So one of the big things that we talk about a lot at Florida Southern is the engaged learning experience. We want to make sure that you're doing things in the classroom and having the chance to really jump in and enjoy yourself and get involved in what you're doing. So all of our classes are going to be taught by professors, your classes are going to be small, and it's really common for students to jump in to do research, to go to conferences, both national and international, and to potentially even get published before they graduate. 
But one of the other things that I really appreciate about Florida Southern is the commitment to making sure that there are certain experiences that are accessible to everyone on campus. Um, the big three for us are studying abroad, internships, and making sure you graduate on time. So to give a little bit more detail about those, we guarantee that everyone gets a chance to study abroad. You get a credit as part of your tuition that can help cover the cost of going to typically one of somewhere between like 30 to 50 trips that are offered a year or help to cover the cost of enrolling in another institution for a full semester for a year. Um, internships wise, we will help you search those out, figure things out, whether that's whether you, whether that's you wanting to stay in Lakeland or somewhere else in Florida, go national or international, go back to California, we'll help you find an internship that's going to put you where you wanna be and also make sure that you're getting some really valuable experience out of that. And then the last big one is that we wanna make sure you're you know, having the chance to graduate on time. And so we have a really stringent advising program in place that's there to help you make sure that you're getting your goals achieved and that you're getting through your classes because we love Florida Southern. We think it's great. We want you to come on campus and stay, but we also wanna make sure that you get out of there on time. So what all that means is that we have a phenomenal placement rate for our students going on to graduate school, going into the workforce, we really want to make sure that students are getting to take their experiences at Florida Southern and carry that into their future working and researching worlds. So regardless of what your field is, there's a lot of resources there for you to make sure that you're going to achieve your goals within that. Kind of campus life wise, we are a residential school. Um, so 93% of our first years are living on campus. Give or take about 60% of our students are coming from outside of Florida. So you are going to have that very like campus community feeling. Um, we are right across the street from Lake Hollingsworth down there in the bottom left. If it wasn't dark over here, I would flip my camera around and show you the view outside of my window. Um, so it's really a beautiful place to live and to explore. Um, as you get older, students start moving into apartments that the school owns, so you've got a lot of flexibility in your living situation as well. Academics aside, there's also some time for fun in college. So varsity sports wise, we are a division two school. If you're interested in talking with the coaches about being recruited for division two sports, come talk to them. Same thing goes for those club sports listed down there like esports and water skiing. If you are not interested in playing for the Division II teams, though, there's still plenty of ways to get involved to be on the intramural teams or to just be part of some of the other different clubs and organizations on campus. So whether your passion is being involved in a really intense community service project, whether it's helping out with the cats and cat club on campus, whether it's being involved in campus ministries or Greek life, we want to support you in achieving what you want to do. So application wise, we are on the Florida Southern application itself, if you'd like to send in one of ours, but you can also submit the common or coalition application and we'll need a copy of your high school transcript. You can send in a SAT or ACT scores if you want to, but if you haven't had the chance to take them, that's totally fine, they're optional. Same thing goes for the letter of recommendation. I personally love reading them and I hope that you'll send one in, but it's not required. Um, and then we will ask you for a personal essay of some kind. So you've kind of got the middle 50% there in the class of 2024 profile, but we are a holistic review school. So you'll have a chance to look at that. So I will leave you with um, my contact information here. If I can get the screen to share there and wrap up. Thank you so much for your presentation. Our final college for this session is Weber International University. Good evening, everyone from sunny Florida. Let me share you my screen really quick. I wanna show you guys a quick picture of our beachfront campus. I'm with Weber International University located in Babson Park, Florida, a stone's throw from Lakeland and Florida Southern. Uh, so we are about um, uh, 45 minutes to a half an hour from Lakeland, but I'll go ahead and get started with my presentation. We are the Weber Warriors. Um, hmm. And uh, 
let's see. We are located on the banks of Crooked Lake. It's the third cleanest freshwater lake in the state of Florida, which also is a great uh, home base for our fishing club. So if anybody is interested in, interested in fishing, our fishing club does travel all over the United States. Um, we're, we're founded almost 100 years ago as originally as an all women's business school. And we host students from 29 states and a bunch of countries. But so just so you guys have an idea of where we are located, right in the middle of the state of Florida, about 45 minutes from the Orlando International Airport. That's where we ask our students either visiting or moving to campus to fly into. We do provide transportation. If you were to visit the state of Florida um, and visit Weber for an official college tour, we will get a scholarship you up to $500 towards your flight. So just keep that in mind if you are planning a visit over on this side of the US. So just to jump right in at Campus Life at Weber, we are a small school. We have, we have right around 800 students. So class sizes are roughly about 23 to 25. Uh, we have remodeled quite a bit of our campus. Uh, the exterior, while it looks very old Florida and historic, we have a lot of old names that used to winter in Babson Park. Uh, the Oscar Mayer family home the mansion can be seen from campus, as well as the Hershey family, uh, Rockefellers, and Kennedys all used to, well, and some still are uh, in our neck of the woods as far as uh, the uniqueness of our small school. So we did open a Starbucks on campus in January. So everyone has been thrilled about that. Uh, so just because we're rural doesn't mean that there is nothing to do. We have different activities as far as Weber is concerned, a variety of clubs. Esports is our newest program that we launched this year. So it is located about three miles off campus, but our students are shuttled if they do not have their own transportation. And there are scholarships available for all of our clubs, including the fishing club and the esports. So if anyone is interested in that, we would love to talk to you more. Uh, Weber International University is a, is a part of the NAIA athletic division. Uh, we have a plethora of sports and we do give athletic scholarships for all of our sports for men's and ladies. Any golfers, we need some golfers, tennis as well. You guys are hard to come by anymore. So if you guys are interested in any of the sports listed, please reach out to me and I will uh, work with you to connect you with our coaching staff so they could uh, get with you as far as highlight filmer is concerned. So keep that in mind while you guys are looking around at different schools to do different highlight links, whether you use Huddle or make your own for a YouTube channel. Uh, a lot of coaches do like to see that now since uh, either we can't get to games or you have uh, highlights from uh, years pri prior, last year, this fall, et cetera. So Weber, we were strictly an all business school, especially it was an all women's all business school until the 70s. We remained an all business institution until about five years ago when we added some health programs. So we have healthcare administration, occupational therapy assisting. We're the first institution in the state of Florida to offer that as a four year bachelor's degree. You will have a minor in health service administration. We have pre-nursing. We are on track to hopefully make a, a good announcement for a nursing program here in the next couple of months. But our two of our most popular majors are sport business management and criminal justice management. Both of those have a 100% job placement rate before you graduate, whether it is law school for criminal justice majors or going into law enforcement. Uh, and our sport business majors typically go to work for different pro teams around the state of Florida and outside of the state. We have some great connections uh, around the globe as far as opportunities are concerned. Weber International University has a rolling admissions process. Our application is online and free. We are a test optional school as well. I heard one of my other um, great institutions in the wonderful state of Florida say that they are. 
We encourage you, if you have done the SAT or ACT, to submit those scores as it may increase your merit-based scholarship. So we have merit-based scholarships that range anywhere from 1,500 up to 20,000 a year. Um, but we do, for those higher numbers, we do require SAT or ACT as well as your GPA. Um, we do not require any essay or interview. Um, and there's no application fee. So we also take the common app as well. So uh, we can take transcripts by way of email. Apply for your FAFSA guys, no matter where you guys go. FAFSA is due every year. So just add a reminder on your Google calendar or on your iPhone calendar every October, you guys reapply for your FAFSA, okay? No matter what school you land at. Uh, but Weber has great opportunities. Uh, work study is available as well. All of that though is neat. Your FAFSA is required in order for you to get some of those benefits. So connect with us again. My name is Amanda Miko. I'm a regional admissions counselor at Weber International University and I'm happy to help with any questions you guys may have. Thank you for your time tonight, guys. Awesome, thank you so much to all of our panelists for giving us a little bit more insight into their different respective universities. I'd like to bring all of our panelists back on just for a very short Q&A to give you guys a little bit more information about the things they like and enjoy at their campuses. So the question we're gonna be answering is what is your favorite campus tradition or event that takes place on your campus? And we're gonna start with wholesale. So my favorite event on campus is definitely Hall of Fame. So every year around February or March, we're not doing it this year because of the pandemic, but Hall of Fame is usually a week, an entire week in which we close down our campus. We bring back all of our Hall of Famers, all of these people that worked in the movies and the projects I showed you. Uh, so we have workshops, we have live sessions, live mixing sessions with some of our uh, music graduates. We also do uh, seminars. We do all of these things, networking sessions to allow our students to network with people who already have their feet wet in the industry of their choice. So that would have to be my favorite event. Lynn University. Um, so my favorite event is definitely uh, the Celebration of Nations, which is basically the um, biggest program we have to just showcase all of our different students, all the different cultures. We have um, students um, uh, make different foods from their areas. So it's a, it's a nice kind of celebration. A part of it is different music parades, all of that. Um, this year, I think our students' favorite part is that we moved to a block schedule, so they have three-day weekends every week. So I guess that's a, not a tradition, but something that students really like. But yeah, Celebration of Nations is uh, our best program to me. University of Florida. My favorite tradition on campus is the Gator Chomp, and it's right hand up and left hand down. And you see this everywhere. In fact, every time I land at LAX, if I have anything Gator on, people are chomping me left and right. But I love it in the gymnastics. Our girls will work a Gator Chomp into their floor routine. And it's so much fun to watch on TV, all these, all these people chomping. That's my favorite thing. Eckerd College. So um, as I mentioned during my presentation, we are a pet friendly campus. Who knows the pet friendliest campus. And so at the end of the academic year, right before our seniors graduate, the pets of our seniors also have an opportunity to graduate and we have a pet commencement. Um, so if you do bring your animal, dog, cat, ferret, tortoise, snake, um, they too can graduate from, from Eckerd. Florida Southern. I don't know if I can top the image of a dog in a mortarboard, but, um, one of the centerpieces for Florida Southern is a Frank Lloyd Wright designed fountain right in front of the library called the Water Dome. When the jets are on full blast, it's as tall as the building. So normally, because it's a National Historic Landmark, you are not allowed to enter it. But one day a year, they wave that to the seniors and you get to go have a pool party in this National Historic Landmark fountain called Senior Splash. And it's really cool. And Weber International. Thank you, Eckert. I was getting nervous because I was going to say we have a wiener oh. dog race, but April Fools, we don't have a wiener dog race. I'm, I'm a big advocate to have one since a lot of us that work there do. Uh, our uh, best tradition on campus is our annual beach party. And like many institutions out there, things were canceled last spring, um, but we are 
on track to ha host our annual pre-graduation beach party. A lot of students, family, faculty, and staff will bring their boats on campus and tubing. They're actually just doing it right after Christmas. It's been 90 here in the last, on and off the last few weeks. So uh, it's a very water active. We've got great paddle boards, kayaks, things like that. Uh, so it's uh, the boating is a very big thing and the beach party is the best tradition at Weber. Wonderful. Well, thank you everyone for joining us today, both participants and panelists. When you close this window, there will be a link to a very quick four question survey. We would appreciate any feedback you can provide to us. This is also just one of many sessions happening this evening, so be sure to sign up for additional ones as well. And in about a week, this presentation will be on the same website where you registered. Thank you everyone and enjoy the rest of your evening.